Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live. I apologize today that I'm not showing my face, but I always have an issue with the camera that I can't uh, focus it back on the page again. So I decided to just start, so I'm just showing my hands. And this is the art journaling page that we're gonna be making today. It's called Listen to the Music of the Soul. And it's basically a saxophone with like basically music and words coming out of it, very expressive. And I'm just gonna show you all the mediums that I use to do this and we're gonna get started thanks so much everybody for coming and hi everyone and we'll get started now I'm just gonna turn I think a couple of pages I don't like to do them back to back um, so just like this um, for this I'm gonna be using an old music sheet that I'm just gonna be ripping and this is just I mean I was almost gonna um, uh, skip this step because you can barely see the music sheets underneath the reason why I didn't is because you do see the texture and I do want that texture to show in the in the layout so let me just kind of rip it a little bit and I'm gonna use some soft matte gel or soft gloss gel doesn't really matter which one just something to seal everything and just gonna glue them this is nothing new that you guys have not seen before Oops. I have a lot of stuff glued from other time and obviously whenever you glue something always seal it and then um, if you have any questions <clears throat> Rika and Yasmin are there to answer any questions you have um, so feel free to ask they're gonna be posting also the the links for those of you who are seeing the we might be seeing the recording after afterwards um, I usually try to put the links on but if not you can always come back to the artist live Facebook page and we have the links there so there's no rhyme or reason of what I'm doing here I mean I'm not putting it in any any particular order I just want the texture to be underneath so um, so I'm just this is why I'm putting it like this Oops. and it does show a little bit underneath but not a lot originally I thought I was gonna do something else when I started doing this page but then I changed my mind and I did something else and eventually it turned out the way that you see on the that you see so not always do I start the way I finish I mean, don't we do a finish the way I start. That's what I meant to say. Um, I do have usually an idea in my head, and I did want to do something related to music. Um, and I wanted it to go across two pages, so I was trying to think of a of a, um, some kind of instrument that could go across both pages. And it was either a trumpet, or and but I thought the saxophone would be like better because it could cover both way, both, all the area, the whole area. So I went with saxophone, but I mean, you could do anything. You could do a guitar, actually a tuba would have been good because it would have been pretty big. So yeah, you could, you could exactly, you could like cut. Okay. So I was, somebody's talking about here about the sleeves that I'm wearing. These are just sleeves. Uh, Fina Bear has some like this and somebody in Ecuador when I was there recently had sold them for themselves and I said to them oh I want I want and they basically just gave them to me which was really nice um, so I really appreciated it and they're really great because they protect my bracelets I cannot wear rings they bother me rings bother me a lot but bracelets don't so um, so I do wear a lot of bracelets so I try not to um, so this really protects them um, and yeah, you can take an old shirt and just basically cut the sleeve off and just sew it, put a little elastic at the end. So it works really well. I'm just drying this up quickly. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to be adding a little bit of just um, 
I'm going to add a little bit of clear gesso. And where is my clear gesso? Somebody took my clear gesso. Oh no, I guess I'm adding white gesso. So I'm going to add white gesso, but I'm really going to water it down. Because somehow my clear gesso is not here. I don't know where it is. Um, so, hold on. So if you don't have clear gesso at hand, don't worry. Um, best is to just, uh, you can you can always use white gesso. And I'm going to have to water this one down. It's a little bit dry. And so I'm just using the, an old golden gesso that I have. I just want to, the only reason I'm putting a little bit of gesso is I just want my paint to kind of, um, you know, because it's porous, I want my paint to to kind of so soak into my page. So if I only have the, um, how do you call this, the gel, the acrylic paint, although it sticks, it's not as good. So I do want a little bit of a primer. And I'm doing it quickly. As you can see, I'm basically just giving a little whitewash to the whole thing. There we go. So there we go. So I just gave it a really light wash and that's it. Um, okay, hold on, let me move this. Okay, there and again, again. Um, yeah, so Joanne, somebody's saying a great idea about using the music sheets. Yeah, it's it's really good. I, you know me, I love recycling. I love using old things, uh, uh, book sheets, uh, music sheets. I mean, that's this one somebody gave me. I used to play piano when I was a little girl, um, but all of them are in books. I guess I could take them apart, but I never. Although I take books apart, no problem. I have a, I feel bad taking music sheets. Off, but this one was somebody gave me this one, so I didn't mind. <laughs> um, okay, it's basically dry. So now I'm going to create the background, and I'm going to create the background basically very simply. I'm going to use some fluid acrylics, golden fluid, fluid acrylics. Um, this is not this one, it's uh, just these two. I'm using yellow hue and quinacridon. Quinacridin Nickel Azogold. I don't know. These are names are really crazy, but um, basically, I'm gonna start with the light one. This is just to create a background, really nothing fancy. Hold on, it's clogged. All right. So um, hold on, nice. They're all uh, running low, I guess. I'm going to put, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to use, I think, one of these sponge brushes. No, I think I might have used, I think I might have actually just used the, um, no, I don't think I've even used this. I think I just used the wipe and basically run it through. One minute. Okay. So I think I just kind of use a, a wipe. I wanted to make it a really light wash in the background. So, because you still want kind of everything to show, at least a little bit. And it's a good way, the paints are a good way of covering an art journal quickly. The back one at least. Let me put some of this one. I love the wipes. I use the wipes for everything. Let me just mix this up. Um, and I must have used other colors because I got it much darker than this, but maybe it will just look nicer because I have all these pieces everywhere. Okay, let me just. So all looks kind of yellowish. So I want to add some more red. I mean, I think I have also, let's see what color is this, burnt sienna. Let's add some burnt sienna. So basically just mix some of the, uh, some of the, um, 
oops, no, some of the earthy colors together. It helps, um, it helps mixing them up. And um, okay, okay, yeah, this is going to give it a little bit of more of a darker tone because I want the darker tones a little bit. Oh, I just realized I didn't put a, I didn't put um, a, how do you call this, apron on today. So I hope I don't get very dirty. My shirt doesn't get very dirty. Okay, so yeah, I must have you added this color. I did this so long ago and then I went away and I, I don't remember what colors I used. I put them aside to make sure but I must, have, I must have used them for something else too. And it doesn't look so pretty, but I'm gonna continue adding color until it does. And a little bit more. Oh, hello, Carol. Carol, Carol. Oops, I think I need to put some more. And I do recommend you see these beautiful wipes. Okay, I said this last time, look how pretty they are. Uh, you could use these tie-dye ones. You can use them to create ATCs. I created, if you see on my on my face on my YouTube channel, you can see the ATCs I created with them. Um, they are they are dream catchers, and I used it to make backgrounds. You can make cards with them. You can use them as backgrounds for cards. So there's so many possibilities with them, and I'll show you. For example, I have them in different colors now. These are in like this, and then I have them in in blue. So you can <laughs> now I'm, I'm hoarding wipes. If I wasn't hoarding enough things, now I'm hoarding wipes too. So I'm creating texture by basically dabbing the um, dabbing the whole wipe on the page, and. It's just it not only creates texture but it gives the color so it does it's like a two for one and it's really I like this just looks really good it looks messy in the picture that I see in, online I hope you guys see it better than what I see it I mean it looks good when I look at it and I'm gonna show it from a little bit closer um, you see the texture so that looks really good I think it's the light is shining um, no, those are not alcohol wipes. These are just regular wipes, baby wipes, non-alcohol wipes, actually. I don't buy wipes with alcohol, but this is acrylic, so everything soaks up. Okay, so there we go. I want to let this wipe. Basically, I put it to dry on top of one of my containers, and um, I do grab another wipe um, to kind of clean my hands. So this is the background. Let me dry this up. Very quick, like you see how quick it is to kind of um, make a little small background. <clears throat> and you can kind of still see the music sheets. You can see the texture more than anything. But um, but it's just for just for the added texture. And you do if you actually look closely, you do see the music notes underneath. So just gonna use my wipe to kind of wipe the excess so it dries quickly because we don't have that much time. There we go. Okay. Just cleaning up my desk while I'm doing this. Okay, so I think oh, almost here, almost pretty, yeah. All right. So, the next step is, um, is okay, so I, to do the saxophone, right? Now, just know that I am not the greatest, like, draw. I don't draw really nicely. I have to use props for it, and I did cut this out of the out of a com I printed it out of the computer on computer paper I mean I, on, I printed it off the internet and then I just work with it but I also what I do is I um, kind of extend it a little bit because this one was very thin so I kind of cut it and 
and basically like kind of opened it up a little bit and kind of extended the lines. I'm trying to remember if I went over the lines. No, I stayed here within the within this group. So, so what I did is I glued it and then I used the lines to, because you're not going to see it anyways. I might as well work with it that way. So again, I'm going to use a, like just a little sponge um, to glue this together. So that's my trick for drawing. I'm not really good. I could probably figure it out, but I prefer. I see some like artists out there that are really, really good at this. But for mixed media, since you're allowed to use paper, I do use this. Oops, sorry. Oopsie. And then I'm going to kind of stick this one here. So it's just to have a guideline. Obviously, um, it doesn't look nice like this anyways. So it's just to kind of have a guideline. I also um, extended it a little bit. There we go. So that's the actual um, that's the actual thing, and uh, the, the actual um, hi, Jonah, Jonah. So I'm just gonna dry it up. And I'm using my hands to aid to kind of help me get this dry quicker. So, one of the things that I like doing is whenever I go to an art store, I do like finding new new um, products that I could play with. And um, there is a local store near us, and they have this company called I think it's uh, Try Art. Um, it's called peat plastic and what it is is reharvested peat plastic so it's basically an, a medium it's a gel but inside there is little things little um, pieces of plastic that are like thick they long, almost look like glass and what I did is I use this to create my texture now I kind of gonna I kind of went with a pencil first just to have a guideline about where I want my my music um, lines to go, more or less. Obviously, uh, it's not exactly thing, and I wanted five. So um, one, two, three, four, and then this one here. Okay, and then uh, I apply this roughly onto the. Um, to the lines to kind of around to make the create these like textured lines across um, now just I just you have to be careful with putting too much in the center because it won't close so I, I went lighter on the center and thicker on the, as, I, as I was going out because this takes a long time to dry I'm doing it first um, so then I can apply other things to it and yes, it's white, but it's, it will dry like, you know, clear, like gel medium. But we're going to add um, some color to it. So this is just, if you actually see, like I'll go closer to the camera. You can actually see the pieces of plastic there. So it's really, really cool. Um, and I've, they have like different kinds. They have some that have like um, shell, shells from nuts from the walnut. Um, what else? They have a bunch of them and uh, they're very 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 textured like you can't use them for anything and they have to be used for 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 highly textured areas so uh, since I made this this is what we're gonna use it for and it looks like it's very loose but eventually when it dries up it dries it dries well somebody just want to make sure that nobody sent you 
I'm sending a message. I know it's okay. So, so yeah, it's very, very thick. And um, um, it's hard to even put on. But you know me, I like experimenting with, with different things. So I didn't mind. Um, and I think this one here. So yeah, it's like basically gel medium with a bunch of, I mean, you could make it yourself. You could go and cut up plastic pieces um, and basically create something like this. I'm just too lazy to go and cut too many plastic pieces, but um, if you can, that would that would be awesome. That would be a great great texture to make. I've see, obviously I've used them before with the glass beads. I know that that used to be one of my favorite mediums. Um, I guess I have to revisit that one again. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna let this. Oh, it's really cool. <laughs> it looks cool in the picture. Okay, okay. So I'm going to. Just let this kind of dry in the meantime while I work on something else. This is why I wanted to apply it first. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. So, just cleaning up my spatula. All right. So, next I'm going to close this. And I'm going to kind of paint around the, the saxophone. I'm going to, I'm using... Um, some uh, art, uh, Finnebear Art Alchemy acrylic paints. I'm using the Gold Rush and maybe a little bit of brass, brass hardware or I have also metallic ancient coin. I mean, one of them. I just want, I'm going to start with one of them and kind of add shadows with the others. Look how much um, I can use here. Oh, how cool is this? You see this like really cool dried up picture thing? Guess what I'm going to do with it? Let's not waste it. And we're going to cut it and we're going to add it to this and it will just dry up there. Let's see. How cool is that? This dried up from my from my um, paint jar and I don't want to waste it. Okay, so now I have too much on my hands. Um, so again, yeah, you know me, I don't like wasting things. I even encourage my students usually when I teach not to waste product. It's really important for me. I mean, not only is product expensive and I encourage people to, you know, just learn how to use it properly, but um, it just helps you, you know, be, be conscious of like things that you have. Okay, so I want to make this a bit thicker. And I think I actually used, hold on one second, I need to wipe my hands. Um, oh, hi, Kristen. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Yes, people enjoyed in Ecuador, enjoyed them very much, enjoyed the classes I taught last week in Ecuador. And yeah, they really liked it. They were really happy. I'm going to first add a little bit because I'm going to try to cover the, the background. I thought I could just add the paint, but I remember that I added some of the gold rust uh, paste. And this is the rust effect paste and it just gave it a little bit of texture too. So I'm going to first add this and help my, help this create a texture with this for the actual um, saxophone. And, and I want to make it a bit thicker as I told you so I use the this as a guideline but it helps that I um, expand it a little bit because it seemed too thin to me I didn't like it being so thin so I added some extra thickness to it of course I eyeballed it um hopefully it's straight um let me just uh put a little bit more i think i want it more like this and okay 
there we go. I just wanted it a little bit thicker. Um, oh, it's very, why is it not focused? It's very um, unfocused there. So I also will use the paste to kind of add in between the layers. And since we're having to dry things, I'm working all at once. So in between, I'm going a little bit with these and kind of creating a little bit of the gold pattern in the, the gold like texture. I also use some of the leftover paints. So anything you have on hand, I mean, the whole fun, fun part of it is that you can use lots of different textures to create volume and to create beautiful um, backgrounds. And that's the nice thing about all these mediums. I, like one of the things that I love encouraging people is to play. I mean, there are certain like kind of rules that you need to follow in terms of like, you know, what goes with what. For most of the part, playing is a key role to learning the mixed media, to learning how to use mixed media products. And that's how I have learned. So it helps a lot. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of texture here. Oops, this glass, this plastic came off with it. And then also I'm flattening the, the plastic a little bit. These rust pastes are really, really fabulous. Um, so it works out really well. Okay, so now that this rust paste is almost completely dry, I can add some more color to this. And it feels to me like it's like, Oh, there now it's for kind of focus. Um, I'm going to add some now the gold. And I'm going to add a little bit of the brass because the saxophone kind of looks it has like that brassy color. Oi. Hold on. Here's another little paste area thing that I could add to my texture. And oh, look at this. A lot of this has dried up because I, when I have my classes, basically people use my products and they don't close them properly sometimes. So that makes a difference. I just want to dry it up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm using the the Art Alchemy uh, Metallic Brass Hardway. And just to give it that brassy kind of color to the, um, to the actual like instrument. And I'm gonna use the leftovers from here. I think I need to make this a little bit thicker too. This spout will have to fix too. And you know me, I'm not really usually too, too exact. I just like uh, the texture that I create with it. Um, you guys are so quiet. I'm like, keep on looking at this, at this, at the, at the screen and nobody's talking. Everybody's concentrating or just like, just doing something else, who knows? Quiet for me too. So here we go. Oops, what's the paper over there? Okay, so this is basically the, the saxophone. do have this paper that I want to kind of add here because I might as well oh this is 
I might as well add these in to not waste them because otherwise they'll just go in the garbage. Oh no, this one doesn't gonna go here. And yeah, so these are cool. I like this idea. All right. I need to wipe my hands. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like also I'm alone because I am alone in my house, but <laughs> it's just weird when everything, everybody's like so quiet on the chat. Okay, I'm going to dry this a little bit. Okay, so um, another thing, really fun thing that while this is drying, I'm going to add some stamping because that's something that I can do while things are drying. But hold on, I need more wipes. This is, my hands are, um, my hands are really dry. So now, right now it looks, I know it looks really ugly. And one of the things I tried telling the, my students because they always get very frustrated halfway through the project because they say, well, this looks so ugly, I don't like this. And I always have to tell them that they have to be patient until the end because when it's mixed media, the layers, because we're putting so many layers, it just starts looking weird halfway through. However, I really um, want to encourage people to just continue, never stop halfway through a project. Always continue all the way to the end because it will it will just bring everything together and that's and always at the end they say oh that's what you meant and and then I mean the first class is usually the hardest because people get like frustrated easier and then after that they realize that they have to be patient um so I have this um music sheet like kind of stamp don't ask me where it's from I don't know I bought it maybe at Michael's many years ago and I'm just using archival link. Just want to make sure that I'm putting these the right way. I'm not even sure actually. And I'm just adding some stamping. But I think Finnebear might have a music sheet one. So I just couldn't find mine. So I don't know. Um, So that's why. Now and I'm gonna put I use the other one, the other uh, stamp that I used um, was a Tim Holtz stamp, like a number stamp. However, I do want to do something else this time. The reason why is because over the weekend I was at a local store here, local, I mean an hour away, but local, and they manufacture their own stamps. Uh, and I have to tell you, they're awesome. I usually, I mean, I love stamps, I mean, especially texture stamps, so anywhere I go, I can, I can find stamps, I do, but these were really cool, and I want to show you them to you, um, the link is, should, Rika should put the link soon, it's by, um, it's called a Chapel Road Art Stamps, and it's sold in Class Act, and there's a link there, so look at these really cool texture stamps, and they look really they actually turn out really well. There's the gears and the clocks, which I really like. And I'm going to use the clocks today. And they're really, really nice. I'll show it to you. They're cling mount. So you can put them on a block or you can use your hand. And this is the design. So it is for texture. And I just really like them. And I was really happy because I was looking for a clock and a gear one. I've never seen one before. And I thought, hmm, what a great idea. This is perfect. So... I'm gonna put clocks in this one in different areas. Oops, look at this, the plastic kind of got stuck. So, I mean, you can order directly from them, but I mean, you don't have to, I'm just saying, I just, if you do like these, they're really, they're not that expensive and they're really, really nice. They're Canadian dollars. So cheaper for the American friends or for the European friends, because our dollar is, is, I mean lower than so it will be cheaper for you um, 
Oh, I want the rest of the clock to be on the other side. Um, let's see, where else do I want the clock? Here. And the corner here. So, yeah, so that's for those of you who like fun stamps. Um, Oh, is that link not good? Okay, I'll, I'll see if, you know what, I'll post, if not, I'll post the link after again. I don't know, I found it today and I just went and just added it. I did a search, but um, if it doesn't work, I will add it later onto our page, onto the page, okay? So, so I'm just cleaning the stamp. And while this is again drying, I'm going to kind of outline the the saxophone. So this is a um, football football paint. It's by Ranger. Um, it's one of those that work really well on mixed media, but anything would work there. Uh, even a Sharpie should work on certain things. So I'm just creating the the lines. Let me continue on. So some of you it works. The links work for some of them. And some of you it didn't work. Weird. Okay. Let's see. So, mm, you know what? I need like a guideline. I'm trying to see. Okay. So I need to kind of look at the, the, the way that it looks. The way that um, the saxophone is. Because I need some kind of guideline as to where the lines are. Um... There's a line here in the middle, and it goes like this. That's good. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So the rest I added myself, and there's something like kind of here. Okay, so what I did is that I actually used um, I actually use like little real junkyard findings for to glue on the thing, to glue on the actual saxophone. Just going to make the circle here. Okay. Um Okay, so hold on. This is still drying, so I'm coming off sometimes. Okay, so there is the the kind of the drawing. And I used a little bit of uh, brown acrylic paint. This is Molotow, but it could be Sharpie. It could be any of them acrylic paints that you might have. And just to add a little bit of shadowing. So I did like here and kind of worked it with my finger just to add the shadows. So to make it a little bit um, more realistic, oops, that one got blended too much, and here too, and it kind of uh, brings everything together. Why does this always go away? Um, looking to see okay yes yeah, so I turned the thing upside down a little bit just so I could add some shadows okay so I will add it soon back Oops. you can also use an art a pit pen a brown pit pen for this step um, It just looks good like this. And I want to add a little bit. I think this needs a little bit more black.
Okay. It's not looking as nice as the other one. I don't like this. What happened here? I went, I went too far. Okay. And where else? I think that's about for it for the shadow, right? Like I need. Okay. And I want to just add a little bit of gold to it too. Sorry, my pen just dropped. I also have a gold marker a little bit, so let's add a little bit of a little bit of gold highlights. Since you already we have this. I'm not the best drawer. I do love the mixed media, but I don't I'm not the best at drawing and shadowing and all that. I try my best. And here a little bit too. Okay, so um, so that's basically it in terms of the um, in terms of the the saxophones more or less. Oh no, sorry, no, no, that's not true. I'm gonna add some white too, some white highlights. So basically, I'm just kind of working this the the drawing a little bit and trying to add things. So I'm using this one time, I'm using a pit pen. And just using, um, using the white, the, the white marker to kind of do the white highlights because white gives it the, sh the shininess and the light that you need. Okay, maybe I think I expanded the saxophone way too much. It doesn't look like a saxophone anymore, but that's okay. You, know, you get the idea of what I'm doing. And um, Okay. I'm going to use now, these are the things that, oops, that I collected. So these are all these knickknacks that I have that I include incorporated into this. Okay. So um, I'm going to use a little bit of gel for this and a spatula. So I, I incorporated a bunch of things onto the layout, like a little butterfly and, um, and a key. So I thought it was cute here. This key can go here. And I even had some music notes. How cute is this? So I have a music note. Um, and a little like French horn. So these are all like little knickknacks that I have collected over the years. So they're perfect for this occasion. Here's another music note. Let's see, where do we put it? Um, I think here. Hold on. Okay, we might run a little bit late today. You guys have patience to stay with me. Hopefully Elaine is not too tired. Um, I also got these like junkyard findings um, that I thought were really cute to put on. And I'm adding a lot of glue just because I really want them to stay on. Anyway, so it will dry out clear. I'll clean it up with a brush. Uh, 
Um, and this one says believe. The other one actually said listen, which is nice, but I only had one of those. This is a uh, Tim Holtz. Um, Tim Holtz uh, metal trinket. Um, hi, Luciana. Hold on, now I'm gonna. So I'm gonna stick these. So basically, I'm kind of mimicking what's on a saxophone. And I'm doing all this while the other one's dry, which is nice. So, yeah, I mean, these are like all their Prima Ingvild Balms junkyard findings. Okay, so there's that. And then I have these little mini ones. They kind of go, this other, I mean, obviously this is just like as if it was a saxophone. It's not, obviously it's not. Oh, no, this is the one that goes here. Um... Okay, there we go. So now that we have this, this will kind of dry on its own, and um, and we're gonna we're gonna do something else. Just want to kind of clean it a little bit. It's too much glue. Okay. So I also what I did in order because this looks really white and it didn't look white on the on the actual like layout is that I added some um, blue hued it's basically um, turquoise tallow from from golden <clears throat> so again with the golden paint I just added a little bit. I'm gonna put some on the side here. Oh, you can't see it, but it's on the side of my of my uh, things. And I'm just been gonna mix it here and add a little bit of water and kind of let them run. So what I did is I let the I sprayed the blue and let it run down the page. Now this is why I wanted to wait until it was pretty dry because otherwise what would happen is that well, it's not even dry yet but drier than before because what I was worried about is that it will it will all like come off the page right because everything is water based so again so this is how I spread everything around if you know what I mean so the blue kind of gives a good contrast the turquoise it's a very big gives a good contrast to the oranges to the earthy colors if you know in nature this is those are the two colors that kind of coincide together like in a sunset right you always see like the blue the turquoise with the orange and also their opposite sides on they're complementary on the color wheel even though they're opposite, so they look really good together. You just have to be careful to add them when the other one is dry. You don't want to mix them together, like so the dark, the warm colors with the cold colors, because you're gonna get a big mishmash of of, um, of color. So as you can see, I'm just basically adding water and mixing it up and down the page. Mm-hmm. And here too. It's still wet, but it stays in place. That's the nice thing about it. So just going to spring this direction now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna dry a little bit. It's way too wet. So as you can see, everything needs like drying time. I can't have it. Uh... Okay. 
I'm just going to soak up some of that water. And oh, look, this, this one has to move back. I don't know where it came from. But I need to soak up some of that water. Um, I'm going to add some of the other type, the other rust paste, the kind of orangey toned one in a second too. And that will help like kind of bring it all in. Let's see if I'm forgetting anything, just probably the title. Well, I think I added more white here, but okay. First I have to let this kind of dry. Okay, so I'm not fully letting it dry, and I'm going to add some of the rust paste. This one, that's the red rust. This is one of my favorites. As you can see, I've used it a lot. Um, I'm going to get a new paintbrush. Okay, so... Um, this rust paste really gives it that rusty look that I like. It's really awesome. Oops. You know, I have to work really carefully because everything is lifting up, as you can see. Some parts are dry, but some, some, some parts are not. And with the blue that I just kind of put in, I have to be really careful. Maybe I'll just try putting on the sides and not on the actual plastic in the wetter areas. The drier areas are okay. And eventually everything dries up, so I'm not worried about that. It's just that it's very hard when you're doing it on new stream uh, because um, it kind of wants to kind of wants to stay wet for a while. It doesn't allow you to dry so quickly. Anybody has any questions in the meantime? Oops. So. Um, let me see. So I'm just adding some more. Once it all dries, all the little pieces will stay into place, right? But in the meantime, I need to... And I might go back after, I'm not showing, I might not show you this now, but I might go back after and just add a little bit more, more paste once the, um, once the thing dries a little bit better, because right now it's just playing with fire. And there's no point. Yeah, you see, I'm like kind of struggling with this one. Okay, so this is basically what I did with the rust paste. You can't really tell as much. Um, you could always spray on top of it, or once it dries, you will really look cool. Um, one other thing that I did, well, it was still wet, and I added um, these words. So I already selected them. I put them on this plastic, but they come from uh, Prima Marketing, uh, archivi Archival, I, I don't know how to say it, archivi Archivist, Archiv I don't know, Archivist, Archivist, that's what it is, um, the stickers from Frank Garcia, and I just basically chose a bunch of words in advance, like there's magical, and I will seal them also with the, I will seal them with the, with the tape. With the, not with the tape, with the gel, sorry, I meant to say. But in the meantime, they're just kind of sticking. So there's different words that I chose that I like, that I kind of give me the music to my soul. There's love and passion, belief, truth, magical. There's life, strong, and laugh, which I think should go, which direction should go this way? maybe here okay so so like this and then 
I'm going to use the white marker. Oh, I'm getting all dirty. Um, is it really? It's really like. It's annoying me that it's not in focus. Oh, I just want to show you from a bit from a close up. You can see like all the texture there. And um, let me just see how I did this here. Yeah, so I added some some lines first of all to kind of. I think I used the other marker. So I'm also going to use a Molotov marker for this because. Um, Um, it gives it some thin lines and I just kind of made this so kind of give it the movement that it needs it needs to have that movement um, going down Yeah, so this helps it give the movement and it also you can use it as to get some <laughs> to get like the little splatters on the page which are really important. Splatters are important. Sometimes you have to like bang it. And I like how, like, I'm just, um, you know, how it kind of reminds these platters kind of remind me of how music is. It just goes in all different directions. There's no set tone to music. So these markers, there's Sharpie like this. There's different brands, and you can um, use them for like, you know, splattering. <laughs> around um, another thing I'm gonna you do is I'm gonna add a little bit of with this distress black distressing I'm gonna add a little bit of a border you could use a gelato for this or, or like archival ink anything basically I just it needs oh no that went too much that I went too much um, what is going on why is it getting so much there I just want the edges and it's doing the whole thing so, so it needs like a little bit of um, of an, a border around. Okay, there we go. And um, just basically gluing the, pa the the words. Let me just dry this up a little bit. I'm not bad on time. I might have to add a few more details, but. Thank you everyone, thank you for commenting on my project. Okay, I just want to dry these white dots so I could so I could put the words there. I would have should have splattered after, but I kinda was in the mood to splatter. Didn't think that maybe I should not splatter yet. Um, so then I, I, I just I love cutting word like uh, sentiments and quotes out of paper so I can add them to my to to my projects so it's listen to the and I cut it crookedly so I need to like um, fix these there we go music Of okay, so perfect. So I need a little paintbrush. Um, there we go. So okay, I'm just gluing these. And while I'm doing these, what I can do is also do the do the other words that I had already put on. Listen to. Crooked, 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 crooked. Uh, 
the music. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Sorry, I'm so concentrating on on putting it on. I don't realize that you guys are giving me such nice comments. Thank you so much. Yeah, the white splatters really add a lot to things. Um, music of oops of oh, I hear my doggy trying to get into my room, scratching at my door here of the so there we go so and okay so there is the writing and then obviously you need to kind of seal these oh, oh no 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 see it's too wet everything is so wet that it's not wanting to stay okay so I'll do this after okay because it's like it's too wet so you just basically you know what I mean seal the seal the words into the um, how do you call this into the into the background and then um, I'm gonna just hold on let me just dry this a little bit just want to make sure that I didn't forget anything um, so it's basically just kind of you're kind of incorporating all the things that you love into 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 one journaling page and kind of in, incorporate like you know you, you, it's not only about music it's about art and about um, having um, all these words that you resonate with incorporated into your um, into your artwork so which I find that it's so important especially with art journaling but in general for for every person who wants to kind of in kind of um, um, you know express themselves so here I'm just highlighting the words I'm just highlighting the words in black and then I think I also oops, just made a mistake and I'm glad I'm wearing these sleeves they're getting stuck to my um, Yes, thank you, Julie. Yes, music frees the soul. Soul, that's your right. But it's also art frees the soul. Art is like music. I see, it's you can see this both ways. Like art is like music, or music is like art. You know, it's like it's both. And my art feels like music to my soul. That's basically how I see it, right? My art gives me that. Gives me that freedom. Um, I don't play an instrument. I used to play lay piano when I was a little girl, but I just found it that I just found playing music is very difficult. I find you have to like practice too much, and I hated practicing. Um, it's too regimented. There's no, there's not as much freedom. In order to get to that freedom, you have to go through so much practicing in order for ever to be able to read music the way you want it. And I, I guess I wasn't. I didn't have that talent compared to like some people that can just pick it up easily. So I, so I find my release through art, as you guys know, and and that's basically where I find the release, like not through music but throughout. So this is what I mean. Art is like the music to my soul, and um, and yeah. So I just highlighted this with a little bit of white. I'm trying to see if I forgot anything else. Let me just check. Um. I think this one had a little bit more splatter. I might have like, oh, I think I highlighted the words around here, but I'm not going to do it now because it's like too wet. Um, but I did get a lot of splatter. And another way to do the splatters is to just do it with the white paint and I think, or with white gesso. And I think I can, you could just use, I have some of the Molotov pen. I mean, I, I actually like these splatters, but they're not enough for me. I find that I need some more here. They're not enough in the actual. Okay, so there is basically my my layout, and now I'm going to. Oh, I just got dirty. 
I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to turn the camera around. So I just want to show you the textures and then I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. So this is basically what I created. Um, sorry, I'm seeing here that I think this needs a little bit more of a like, like, like a white line. There we go. <laughs> now you can see it better. So this is basically what I created. And the original one you can see online. And let me just turn this around. Oh, hi. There I am. Okay, sorry about before. I didn't want to show my face before. So thank you so much for everyone that came today to Artist Live. We appreciate you guys coming every week, especially some of you that come like often or wake up very early just to come and see us. So we really are happy about that. Next week we have... Marta again she's coming back yay and she's gonna have an awesome project for you so just stay tuned we're gonna be uploading it in the next few days thanks so much bye